ourselves. We lose, for some reason, our ability to do critical thought, and then we look stupid because we are. We've believed a lie. It doesn't make it the truth if everybody votes for it. It doesn't make it the truth if everybody thinks it's so. In a culture where a lot of people are really not winning, as a matter of fact, if they all believe it's not so, that probably means it is so. Because it's kind of a Dr. Phil moment. How's that working for you? It's not. Just because everyone believes something, quote, everyone, unquote, doesn't mean it's right. We really have to establish that when we start talking about personal finance and money and what the Bible has to say about money. Because here's the deal. I went broke a few years ago. I lost everything because I was stupid. And, and, And then I started reading what God's Word has to say about money, and I got smarter. And what's weird about this is it's like a lot of things in this book, it's countercultural. It's perpendicular to what everyone says. But everyone's not winning. Their marriages aren't winning. Their kids aren't winning. Their careers aren't winning. And their money's not winning. So I really don't care what they think. This, however, works. 